So I saw this TikTok the other day and thought, oh my god, I need these. So of course I ran right to her website and ooh, I'm a broke bitch. I don't have $100, but what I do have is a pair of sunglasses my kids fucked up and a Hobby Lobby. So let's see if we can make a shittier DIY version of those dope sunglasses. The second earpiece gave me such a struggle. Oh my god, I spent like 30 minutes on this. Finally a pair of pliers got the screw out and I could pull it off. Next we have some box chain because that's what she said she uses. And I very quickly realized the little hoops on this one were not going to be big enough to go through the sunglasses. But lucky for me, I bought bigger hoops. Which then I later found out have no opening. But I don't stop here, I'ma make one. We're serious about our DIY in this home. But oh my god, look at that, and here's the second one. They are so stinking cute. Like I said, I'm sure her quality blows mine out of the water, but I'm so happy with these. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this disco ball lamp, but full disclosure, I am not a professional. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but this is how I did it. I start off with three of these disco balls. There's the top, and that's what the bottom looked like originally. I then removed some of the disco tiles from the bottom as well as taking off the top using a sharp weeding tool. This was to make room for the drill. I drilled on on each side of the styrofoam ball and then pushed an unsharpened pencil through it to make a clear path for the cord. I then went to Lowe's and I got a bottle lamp kit. Um, I didn't actually film myself doing any of this part because the instructions are easy to follow and there's absolutely no way that I could explain it better than them. Before gluing the three disco balls together, um, I ran the cord all the way through. And then for the little stand at the bottom, I used a mason jar lid that I popped the top out of, and then I covered it in disco tiles from Amazon. Then there's a little hole in it for the cord to run through, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Yesterday I made this little photo book, and today I'm going to show you how to make it. So first thing, we're going to take some pictures. Once you have them, open up Photoshop and create a new doc like this. Make guides at the 25% marks, both horizontally and vertically and create a filled rectangle that fits in that space. Duplicate it 15 more times to look like this. This is the template we're working from. When you drag in a photo, drag it over the page you want it to be on and then clip it to that rectangle. So it will stay only in that space. Repeat this for the rest of the rectangles you made. Make sure everything's aligned properly and then save it. Then print it on photo quality foldable paper. Once it's dry, go cut off all the borders. With the cover in the bottom right corner, cut it three quarters of the way across where I am. Make sure not to cut it the whole way across so when you fold it accordion style, all the pages stay together. Add whatever else you want to it and now you have a little book. And you can go say to your friends. So open Photoshop, make sure your graphic is completely white, and then open blending options and select bevel and emboss. These were my settings if you want to pause. After that, select inner shadow, 
here's some more settings. Then select gradient overlay, more settings. After that, you want to make sure you group the layer that you just applied all those effects to. Then add some curves. The steeper you make this, the more dramatic the effect will be. After that, add a gradient map and uh, create a clipping mask for both of those effects. And just play around with your gradient. Do y'all remember these lucky stars? Oh, there's heart version. So good for Valentine. And I'll show you how to make paper and a pair of scissors. And I made this little box to put it in. Look. I also made this fortune cookie. My paper is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. The length doesn't matter too much, just the width as you please. I like the two centimeter size. I cut this into strips of. Okay, I don't do tutorials for this because I can't speak. Okay, you got the strips. Easier than the stars, you just triangle. And then you fold this up. Fold it over and you repeat till you get to the end. Just trim a little and like the stars, like so, like that. Cut the round edge. and then the fun part is you just. They'd be so cute in a little mason jar with like hundreds of them. <laughs> 